Why do you think that world culture seems to be very important? Does it connect people? Does it does it make you more like connected to the world? What do you think is very important for world cultures? Because, you know, I was one of the very fortunate generations that the United World Colleges, the IB colleges, uh, only 12 in this world, that I was one of the very first generations that had the honor to study such a wonderful, newly innovative, creative subject that was created by my own professor, Harry Thomas Bishik, whom I'm, I want to uh, salute right now and very dear, always in my heart. Harry Thomas has produced many of the Shakespearean plays that I have uh, debuted in, uh, like Miss Midsummer Night's Dream and some other wonderful plays uh, that we've done together. Um, and also Sandy Thomas, I want a big uh, hug to all of them and everybody at UWCAD. I will pass you soon for a milestone anniversary and we can celebrate and dance and, and share some good times and remember the wonderful times we spent together in so many years ahead. I'm really excited about this adventure as well uh, in, in, at UWC, like every other year. Now a little break, take a music break, and then we'll come right back. So beautiful, beautiful panorama here. And I want to do something special for this Friday month. Always something special to do. And we also have special guests, music guests, uh, something that my sister sent me over from Europe with her husband and their band. Always, you know, look at this part of you. Like the whole room, it's just the view. You know, hope you hear the crypto arena right there next to us, uh, who's all celebrating birthday. You know, but pride, no, not a lot of buildings here. I put out the flags, I see, but maybe it's more visible during the day. Who knows, you know? You never know, right? And also, this one another wonderful view right behind me. Also, we have here a wonderful historical, um, wonderful historical, um, Buildings of downtown Los Angeles, my favorite place in the world. And look how beautiful, how custom all the freeway looks down there compared to us up here, right? right. So, uh, if you haven't been to the Broad Museum, you should already go to your case, your ticket right away. And if you have not seen Keith Haring live with your live eyes, see Keith Haring's you're missing out a big chunk of artistic uh, of, uh, life uh, and you should get culturally um, accustomed and knowledgeable Keith Haring, who is really one of the pillar of the modern uh, art here in America. But not only that, uh, also one of the main uh, so big forces that drove forward the LGBTQ, the formed LGBTQ movement, not just here in North America, but all over the world. He will always be remembered as an eclectic, um, avant-garde, but very, very socially aware for the community and an artist that is really just a, a whole authentic artist that uh, it's very hard to find. Maybe one every thousand years are born like Keith Haring. So go th see Keith Haring at the Broad Museum here, at the Broad Museum here, right here behind me. Uh, also, I want to tell everybody that, uh, um, that we will soon resume the Massimo Wines uh, Wine Events experience for all our wine club members. As a matter of fact, we have a new website with the new events you can sign up be a member for one day one hour one month one year a hundred years as you wish there's no limitations we can ship everywhere in north america and anybody can sign up for all our events because our events are not just going to be here in downtown los angeles locally or in socal but we are expanding events all over the world <laughs> no, events all over the um North America, now slowly East, West Coast, and slowly, you know, like Midwest, and maybe like the center or Southwest, Southeast, Northeast, East, no? The glacial Alaska. No? So, anyway, so follow us at massimowise.club. This is the new domain. So, M A S S I M O W I N E S dot. C L U B Massimowise dot club. How easy is that? How cool is that? Right now you can do dot everything. Dot me. Dot you. Dot everybody. Dot L A. Dot dot L A care. Dot L A this. Or dot L A that. So you can dot everything right now. You know, it's really wonderful how this technology is going forward. So what are you doing here? 
I have come to watch your work. You're visiting us and want to expedite the process. Do I detect a tone in that response? No, no, I, I simply mean that it's... I need immediate results. I cannot delay any longer. Listen, with all due respect, this isn't a case of... I am tired of waiting! Tell me. Were you born or turned? I, I was... Were you born or turned? I was turned. When? Austria, 1947. I have lived for centuries. I have watched kings and queens reign and fall. I have waited! I'm tired of waiting. Tired of waiting for our time. Of waiting for our moment. Now you will work. You will finish where I started. And I will be here, right next to you, until it's done. Do you understand? I don't care if it's the middle of winter. I promised my bride hydrangeas. She's getting her hydrangeas, okay? We don't mean to bother you, but we may have a problem with the taxis. <laughs> the button ears are all wrong. They should be cranberry, not raspberry. <laughs> the bride and I just need a sec to chat, okay? If those flowers are not here by the break of day, I will help you so hard. So why'd you come back? Is it guilt? Tell me like that. Why'd you come back? I saw a child. He was in trouble. I was an asshole, okay? I drove right past him. Maybe, if I didn't hesitate, that kid would be here now. I watched them shoot him without even blinking. Bang, gone, who's next? You wanna know I'm here? I'm... I'm through following orders. Good <laughs> Hey, careful. He takes one of the seats. What are we gonna do now? We'll wait for a safe opportunity to move out. This isn't funny. Why can't you just shoot past these assholes? I only have so many bullets. A typical American military dickhead. Oh, hey, 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 little girl. You gotta kill her. No! <laughs> What are you doing? Have you lost your mind? Did it hurt or us? <laughs> Where the fuck are you supposed to be, huh? A leprechaun? No. I'm a no. Ah! Ah!